In Hagler's professional career, he won 62 of his 67 fights, including 52 by knockout. In his prime, he was the undisputed middleweight champion for seven years in the 80s, defending it successfully 12 times. He's also an international and world boxing Hall of Famer. And if you haven't already, YouTube the Hearns fight and enjoy that first round. Teddy Atlas has spent more than four decades in and around the sport of boxing. Teddy, what will you remember most about Marvin Hagler? He was real. He was honest. He was reliable. He was what you want in a friend. <laughs> what we want today in people, whether it's politicians, leaders, whatever it happens to be, people that you can trust. You could trust every time he got in that damn ring what he was going to bring. Everything. Everything. And you can rely on him. That's his strength. Today in the day of neon talents and flash and everything else, this guy was no frills. He was dependable. He was reliable. He was solid. He was as good as it gets. He didn't come up with a silver spoon. He had no spoon. He, he had the, those wooden things that they gave you in a good humor truck years ago to break into the ice cream. This is a guy who knew that, too. He got into an argument with his managers. His managers, he was very loyal to them. And on the way up, he wanted to fight all the best middleweights in Philly. And the promoter said, why does he keep coming here? He's going to their hometown, the best fighters in the world. And his manager said, he insists on it. Because he wants to be the best, because he wants to test himself, because he wants to know, because he wants to forge himself in a fire to know that there's nothing but steel when that fire is over. And that's what he was. That's what he was. He was steel. He was Superman. Punches bounced off him the way bullets bounced off Superman. And I know that I'm being a little bit obviously dramatic, but he deserves it. That's how special he was. He made himself that kind of man. You know, again, it wasn't Flash. It wasn't all that other stuff. He didn't have a gold medal from the Olympics. He didn't have the big promoters at the beginning giving him money. But he had the desire, the dream, the will to be the best. And he was great. One of the greatest middleweights of all time and one of the greatest southpaws of all time. Who fights John the Beast Mugabe when you don't have to? Mm -hmm. When he was undefeated with all knockouts, he could knock four walls down. Who fights him? Marvin Hagler fights him. Rest in peace, champ. You were the best. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.